All right, so first video of 2020, Happy New Year. And can you believe I've been doing this YouTube thing now for one year and that is crazy, I can't believe it. So going into 2020, I wanna create a new video here, which is basically gonna be a bit of an update video. And what I wanna cover is just where I plan to take the channel going into this year and beyond as well. So I know a lot of you appreciate a lot of my tutorial videos, so they're not going anywhere, don't worry about those. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start uploading twice a week. So on the Friday, I'm gonna create a tutorial video and that'll be you know between CAD, 3D printing, um, slicing videos, all that stuff, right? It's, it's not going anywhere. And then on the Tuesday, what I'm gonna do is post some project videos and some updates as to what I'm doing with my own personal projects. And for the past year, when I've been setting up my channel, it's taken a lot of time away from my own projects, right? Setting up a channel is really hard between, you know, making the Fusion 360 course, um, just getting everything set up, and especially doing it around my full-time job as an engineer, it's really challenging. And that kind of led me to neglect my own projects a bit. But going into this year, I've got a little bit more time. I've planned out my time a bit better. And what I want to do is share my projects. And I've always loved doing my own projects for the last sort of five to ten years. I've always loved just building stuff, making stuff, whatever it may be, right? It, it, it could be anything. But I really want to get back into that because I've missed it a lot. So my background, if some of you don't know, I uh, did a master's, a four-year master's degree in um, electronics and it was actually a computer systems engineering degree and we worked on microcontrollers, dig digital electronics, analog electronics, lots of awesome stuff crammed into a course, right? It was an awesome course. And for the past year or two, I kind of haven't touched any of that stuff. And I really, really miss it. And what I want to do is get back into it, but I want to do it with you guys and share it. And hopefully I can inspire a few of you to get into hardware as well, or just 3D printing or making in general. But as I said, the past sort of year or two since I graduated, all that's kind of been put on hold. And I really miss it. I really miss doing a lot of these hardware projects. And that's where my true passion is. And now that I've got uh, the 3D printing skills and the CAD skills, I can bring both of them together and hopefully create some awesome stuff, right? And that's just the goal. I just want to do awesome stuff and share it with you guys and hopefully you can enjoy it. So my first project going into the new year is going to be something pretty awesome. And I'll give you a little hint. You can probably see I got some wheels and it's going to be an RC car. And I've wanted to do this for so long. I know there's an awesome RC car community here on YouTube and I'd really love to tap into that a bit, you know, and contribute to it. It's such a great hobby to get into because what I love about it is that whatever you make, right, whatever car you make, is never quite finished. It's one of those things where you can always add something to it, change something, upgrade something, and I just love that, just this ongoing process of development. And that's kind of the background I come from. That's why I'm used to that kind of ongoing problem solving. And I guess that was what led me to be an engineer. But what I want to do is make an RC car, but I want to do it a little bit differently to what I've seen most people do. So what a lot of people will do is just buy off the shelf components. Uh, you can buy sort of an ESC, um, a battery, a motor, and a transmitter and receiver. And basically that's all you need to make an RC car. Obviously you need the chassis and all those bits, but you can buy those components off the shelf and not understand too much about electronics or what's going on underneath. And that's fine, you know, it works. You can build awesome RC cars that way. But what I want to do is challenge myself a bit more. And I want to design an RC car by creating my own embedded system. So this here is an STM 32F4 Discovery. It's a development board by ST Microelectronics. And You've probably seen in the past something like this. So this is an Arduino board. And these are super popular 
amongst the make maker community and the reason is because they're really easy to use. If you don't come from an electronics background, these things are so easy to pick up and you can start programming hardware relatively quickly. But what happens with the Arduino stuff is that they take a lot of the control away from you and that's how they manage to provide that higher level of understanding as opposed to getting lower with a board like this. So these kind of boards offer you way more control. There's so much packed into this little board you won't believe it. And I might do a video actually discussing the board and, and all that stuff if you're interested. But this certainly jumps leaps and bounds over an Arduino. They are a little more difficult to use and as I said they do require that deeper understanding. But I've kind of got that from my degree background. And my goal really is to develop an RC car using this development board, but then I want to go on to create my own PCB and develop my own electronic circuits for my own RC car. So it's going to become like a little system basically, not just something where you plug in a bunch of connectors and it's good to go. I want to actually create my own embedded system where I can add anything to it. And that's the great thing about these, you can interface with anything. You know, it's got a gyroscope built on it. You've got all these pins here where you can um, read analog inputs, um, take PWM inputs, output PWM, which is how you power the motors. And all this is stuff I'll teach you along the way as I'm covering these projects, right? Um, but hopefully you can get a bit excited about that. And hopefully this was a good update video as to where I'm kind of taking the channel. Hopefully you guys will get on board with it and you'll tune in for the updates. I'm super excited about this. I've been waiting to do it for so long. Um, I'll try my best to do it in an educational way and not get too sort of into the details because I know a lot of it can go straight over people's heads and that's fine. Um, but yeah, as you know, my videos, I always try to make them to a high quality and provide real value there in terms of education. So that's it for this one. Hope it was useful. Happy New Year and I'll see you next week.